Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working in Pro Tools and we're going to be demonstrating um, the use of the transport bar. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about that. We've talked about some of the areas of the transport bar without saying that that's actually the transport bar, but today we're going to go deeper into that. So as you might know from your edit window, this area here in the top center top of the edit window um, you can see where your cursor and your playback is. You can select areas of the timeline and you're going to see the length. Well, that's a part of the transport bar. Okay, this is, I guess, the... It's like a condensed version of the transport bar. But the actual transport bar, you can see by clicking on Window, Transport, or the key command, uh, Command 1 on a Mac or Control 1 on a PC. And that way, you're going to show this transport bar that contains um, a couple of things, okay, in several areas. First area here, uh, you might recognize it because it has uh, things such as start, end, and length. Uh, so you know where the selection starts, where it ends, and the length, just like you have in your edit window. Uh, but you also have the pre, post, roll, and fade in um, functions, okay, that you can enable, disable, from here okay now you also have the transfer control such as you know record enable play pause or play stop go to the end fast forward rewind return to zero and so on and so forth now these functions don't necessarily show here by default but typically, we just use a space bar to um, play and stop. And, you know, if, if, if you have like a, you know, if you're in quick punch mode, you can just press 3 from your numeric, numeric keypad and start, you know, recording. Now, you can always just right click here and select the type of recording mode. Uh, I typically have it in quick punch. So, I'll just leave it there. Now you also have an area here where you can see where you are right now, your main counter. Okay, your main counter, you also have it here on your edit window, but in the transport bar, you also have it there. You can also see the sub counter. Okay, right now the sub counter is set to samples, and then in your edit bar, your edit window, you don't have the sub counter showing, but you can always click and show it there. So main and sub counter, just like here. Now, you can also do things such as the count off. You can ena uh, enable that here. And the amount of bars, the meter, the tempo. Uh, you also have a couple of uh, metronome related functions such as enabling the metronome. You got uh, wait for no, you got MIDI merge, and the conductor track. Now, the transport bar is actually longer and you can click on this arrow here and show other stuff um, such as synchronization stuff like uh, generate uh, MIDI time code and the online you know if you're doing MIDI time code you're probably um, syncing Pro Tools to something else let's say like a console or some kind of video related machine that you need MTC uh, normally we don't I, I personally don't use it but I know plenty of studios that need it. You also have the output meters. The output meter here, in my case, I have a stereo output. So that's going to show here. It's pretty handy. So you don't have to open uh, your interface software or you don't necessarily need um, the, the, let's say, the master fader to see that. You can see the output here. And from here, you'll know how hot you're coming out of the interface or you're coming out of Pro Tools and you'll know if you're clipping or not. Um, you also have here expanded transport. You can have it short like that or expanded. So that's the transport bar. Now, from your edit window, you can also see these stuff. Okay, you can also see these options. Now, by default, they're not shown, but you can always go to your edit window. I'm going to close this. Just right click here on the top and show the same stuff that we had on our transport bar. Now, um, depending on the size of your screen, you might not be able to show all of this. So, you know, normally um, 
there's all this stuff that we don't necessarily um, show. Okay, uh, my recommendation: just leave it clean here and just open your transport bar. Do whatever you're gonna do, and then use the key command to hide it again. So that's the transport bar in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we'll be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.